What is up guys, welcome to third rookie here. In this video we'll be doing a zebra striping effect for a table in CSS3, as you can see. And for you who are especially masochistic, we'll be doing the same effect using JavaScript. Stay tuned. Yeah, bye bye So, as you can see, this is our final product. Um, every other row in this table is highlighted. That's basically what a zebra striping effect is. You want to highlight every other, every second row in a table so you can easier distinguish data in it. So, here's the table I'm going to be working on. It's just the basic styling, edit some padding, change the font, uh, edit a border, it doesn't matter that much. So, yeah, let's go to code. So here we have the basic HTML structure for our document, document and the structure for this table. And here's that basic styling for the table. What we're going to do here is we're going to just say dr and child even and just add a background color. And that's basically it. So how does this work? So tr, when you just type tr in CSS, it will select all and match all the tr tags in the document. Using nth child and passing an argument, it will filter those tr elements uh, regarding the uh, argument in the bracket. So this argument can be anything, a number, a, a formula, uh, or even uh, keywords like even or odd. So in our example, we use the keyword even, so we matched every uh, tr element on an even index. So uh, by starting at 1, so tr at index 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc., we selected 2, 4, 6, 8, doesn't matter. Um, if we refresh the page, you'll see we just applied the background color effect to even tr child. So starting at 1, index 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we have 2, 4, and 6. And that's basically it. Um, if you want to do the same effect using JavaScript, you can do it a little different. So let's add a class called paint row, I think. Yeah. And again, set the same color as our background. And here's our script for doing the same effect. So what we do first is we select all um, tr tags in the document and we put them in an array. Next, we iterate through that array using a for loop. And in that for loop, we compare the index if it's odd. Why odd? Because um, ant child starts indexing at 1 and arrays in JavaScript start indexing from 0. I think that in every programming, programming language, um, indexes start at 0. So if our index is odd because it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, so odd rows, we add a class we just created called paint row. There are many ways to do this, I prefer this one. So, yeah, basically that's it. If you want the other order, you can uh, add odd here, so it would select first, third, and fifth row. So, yeah, thank you for watching this video, and before I go, I just wanted to uh, ask you guys if you could uh, check out my colleague and associate uh, under Minute Music, he's doing some covers and uh, tutorials on guitar rig, uh, music production, etc. He's really good. Um, somewhere up here will be the link to his channel and I will also put it in the description. description. Thank you for watching, this was Rookie Dev, or as I like to call it, the third. Thank you for watching and bye bye